Subtech nerds, Lottie here again. Uh, ooh, we're starting outside today. Very dramatic uh, entrance. Uh, no, the only reason I'm out here is because I am doing a bit of painting. Uh, we're going to be talking about water pumps today, assembly, how they go, and why they fail, uh, as well as other stuff that we've been doing. So let's get straight into that. Water pump. This is the clean one that we have just made up. Uh, this is made up of three different water pumps and I will get into that for uh, in a second. The only reason it's for those keen-eyed observers it's green it's not duck egg blue that's because we're using the old paint that didn't match up as our base coat so that's why it's not particularly uh, nice at this moment still bits missing it's just the first coat but it's a good base coat for what we're running with. So that's that. Um, I suppose I should probably mention how it works. Uh, look, it's pretty straightforward. This interfaces in with the uh, wheelhouse, wheel box? Yeah, wheel box. There we go. Um, that interfaces with that. There's a gear on the end of here. It's just covered by tape. That spins the impeller. That pulls water in, pushes water out. Pretty straightforward sort of stuff. Nothing too complicated. Um, as we are walking to the other ones, you will notice I am also painting up our uh, wiring looms for the spark plugs. Over to our graveyard, I do hear the rain coming in, so hopefully it doesn't get too loud too quickly. Alright, here's all the bits for our water pump. So, one bit two bits we don't really need to worry about that but it's just an empty shell water comes in pretty straightforward stuff um right this is the interesting bit well this is the important bit rather this is the main impeller it sits behind this bit like that uh, and that's what does all of the um pulling the water in pretty straightforward stuff now when your water pump fails it is this this is a brass sort of fitting that should spin in there quite nicely. Kind of, but not really like this one here. Underneath that, oh my god, it's a seal. That is what dries out and that is the main problem on a lot of these. Uh, that's what dries out and that's what causes all the issues. Um, these are crap, this is why we're not using them. This is completely cactus, not going to work, and this one's even worse. So again, we've actually stripped about three of them to get all the important parts. Now, the other part, the important part, is this. It goes kind of like that. Uh, again, this is the main drive that connects with this, which goes in like so. And that mates up with the uh, impeller, which is sitting on the face like so. Now, there is oil on this side, and there is water on this side. How do you stop them from mixing? Well, we've got the water side. That's what this um, seal controls. So there's water on the back end of that, and you're trying to stop it coming out. Pretty straightforward. How do you stop the oil? Well, there are no seals. There is a left-handed thread when I get rid of that out of the way. You'll see the thread cut in there. That is not for a screw. So that is a left-handed thread. And as this spins around, either one, pick one. <laughs> as that spins around, it forces oil back up the shaft and it stops it from coming into this chamber. Now what happens a lot is when the engine is stopped, uh, the impeller is stopped moving, which means this is stopped moving, which means the oil can actually run along these threads into this chamber. Not as big of a problem as you might think. There's a little hole right here. You can see it better on this one. It always sits on the bottom. So this is the bottom of the water pump. Always sits on the bottom. When your engine is stopped running, uh, it is not uncommon after a little while to see oil coming out of here. Not a problem. Uh, it's allowed to do that. Not 
a great deal, but it is allowed to do that. If it's pouring out when the engine is running, uh, then you're buggered and you need to take it out and recondition it. If you see water coming out of that, then you have a really big problem. It means this is dried out. And that can mean uh, one of two things, either you're getting water in your oil or water, uh, oil in your water. Either way, bad news. You don't want that to happen. So that is the easiest way to check, to see if you are dealing with a good water pump or a bad water pump. So yeah, there you have it. Oh, and this is just a spring. This, um, when it's all assembled, uh, where are we? Back over here. When that sits on top of there, it actually compresses the seal uh, into it. This should be a machined, nice, clean surface. Not completely unlike this one. See, so you can see the surface there. Basically, it should look like that on both sides all the way through. Um, this one's cactus, so no go for the usage. Uh, if we do need to use it in the future for God knows whatever, and eh, then we can worry about it. So there you go. A uh, quick little uh, explanation on how the water pumps work. Now, on to what we've been doing. Eagle-eyed viewers yesterday were asking as to why the sleeves are different heights. Uh, the short answer is it doesn't matter. It is purely a manufacturing uh, defect. I wouldn't even call it a defect. So it's just how the manufacturers produce them. The early ones tend to be shorter and they've got a tiny little sort of like tapering on the edge, whereas the new ones are taller and they are flat surfaced. It doesn't matter in the slightest. How do we know? Because the engine in that tank is exactly the same. Uh, the new ones were short and the long ones were tall, only by about that much. The bottom of the pistons do not touch in the slightest. So. It's purely just a manufacturing um, defect, for lack of a better term. Uh, moving on, I have been polishing up our little surfaces. Nice and shiny. That's going to get painted. The only reason I haven't really been doing too much painting is because, again, it's awfully dark out. But I've just been cleaning everything. Um, yeah, making it all nice. This one's still got a fair bit to go. Our wheel case, got it right this time. Wheel case is basically ready for painting. It's just sitting here waiting for me to hit it with the uh, degreaser, but it's good to go. Uh, and I finally base coated these with our ugly green and we will get the uh, blue onto it. Not too distant future. Actually, I will show that. I don't know if everyone could have seen it, but here is our green and here is our blue. See how much of a difference there is? That's why I was angry with the paint, but they gave it to us back. So pretty happy about that. Let's not contaminate it. Let's put the blue with the blue. There we go. There you have it. Quick little update, quick little instructional video on how the water pump works uh, and when it doesn't. So tomorrow we will be taking the tank out. I can't promise there will be a video on that straight away because it is a test for the weekend. Uh, so we're going to be sort of just getting into it and going full, uh, full steam ahead. Um, yeah, so that's today's update. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.